What's up, y'all? Welcome to the GI Justin channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. So, something with the possibility of serious, serious catastrophic issues and concerns for all of us as Americans, and I think the rest of the world is going on right now. And basically, it involves our entire government structure minus the Supreme Court. You know, these guys need to get their stuff together. And what that relates to is basically Congress and the White House are headed toward a June 1st deadline to resolve the debt ceiling debate. And basically what it is, if they don't get this deal done, the waterfall effects for us as average everyday Americans would literally, like I said, be catastrophic. So the Secretary of our Treasury, Janet Yellen, said that failing to lift or suspend the debt ceiling would lead to economic and financial catastrophe, darkening a U.S. economic outlook already clouded by elevated inflation, high interest rates, and unease in the banking industry. So the Congressional Budget Office and the Transporta or Transportation, the Treasury Department projected May 3rd that if the government doesn't pay its bills for even one week, 500,000 Americans lose their jobs and the economy decreases in size by on its way to 1%. That's per week, y'all. Think about that. So 500,000 Americans a week lose their job. How do, how do we recover from that? And what does the world say about us from that? I don't think it's great. And the worst case scenario of, of how this would look would be a long protracted default lasting longer than three months, which would, would trigger basically a gigantic recession type of uh, scenario where greater than 8 million People, at best estimate, would lose their jobs, and the stock market could fall up to 45%. We've already had a, a rough year and a half in the stock market and across our, our economy with inflation, and now you mean to tell me it could lose half its value? Where would we be? Where would we find ourselves if that happened? Um, then even further, if you managed to keep your job and not be one of these 8.3 million people who would lose your job, we'd be looking at significantly higher interest rates. You know, interest rates last year were around two and a half, three percent. We are looking at about 6.4% on average this month. Imagine 10% interest on the purchase of a home. You, you wouldn't find anybody willing to buy a home anywhere. Anybody trying to sell would be completely locked out and completely stuck. They'd have no ability to do so whatsoever. And, you know, right in concert with that, you look at where we stand as a country economically right now, where more people are using their savings to survive than have ever done so in the history of our country. Credit card rates right now, which are about 24%, equate to about $986 billion in credit card balances for Americans across the country, which surpasses our pre-pandemic limit by about $59 billion meaning that more people are living paycheck to paycheck, month to month, savings account style living than have ever done so in the history of our country. And now you have our government who is looking at putting us into an ultra recession. So basically what this major problem really means for us is according to the, the Deutsche Bank senior economist, Brett Ryan on a potential default, if we do ride over this cliff and the government were to technically default, there would be a major problem and it would be a, gro a global crisis for the United States because we lose faith and trust across the world. We've talked previously about other countries not trading in the U.S. dollar as the primary form of currency anymore and our credit taking a hit based on the lack of faith in the dollar already. If we refuse to pay our bills to the people we owe money to across the world, what does that do for our good faith and credit across the world? And the answer is, according to Jerome Powell, we would be in uncharted territory and the consequences to the U.S. economy would highly be uncertain and quite adverse. Failing to pay the bills would erode trust in the U.S. government debt seen up to date as largely risk-free due to the nation's track record of paying its debts on time and in full. A default could lead to a dramatic decline in the value of U.S. government bills, notes, and bonds and their ability to basically raise money for the government to operate on. So why is, the, why is the government yield on bills so important, you might be wondering? Well, nearly every corner of finance relies on government yields as the, the benchmark, basically. So investors at home and abroad monitor these yields when they're trading securities to determine what American bonds they want to buy. And these bonds give our government money to operate with. 
Mortgage lenders look at the U.S. Treasuries when they're deciding what rates to charge for buying a home, and a default on a 30-year loan would add about $130,000 to your mortgage payments, basically, in terms of an interest rate hike. So the problem here is... Basically, it's political brinkmanship where the Democrats and Republicans can't come together because neither wants to be seen as weak or do anything, you know, in, in a positive light about this. So, you know, you add the the bank problems that we're seeing right now where, you know, three of the top 30 banks in the U.S. in the last two months have collapsed, starting with, you know, First Republic Bank in May. If they don't come to an agreement here, we could see pretty widespread panic when it comes to our financial structure. And if you look at yesterday's video, which I'll post up here in the beginning of the video, where we talk about the possibility of the government freezing your ability to withdraw your money to, to maintain stability, this could be a, a serious economic issue for the United States. And if our government can't come to an agreement on this debt ceiling and where we're going to go with it, where do we end up? You know, I mean, you've got a significant number of Americans unemployed, significant number with crazy credit card debt living out of their savings account because they're not making enough money to pay their bills because recession has taken hold, inflation is high, the cost of goods is up, your paycheck's not getting any bigger. All it ends up meaning is that the people in the United States who keep this country going, the lower and middle class, who do all of the hard work for the nation, are going to run out of money. Where's going to be, where's that bailout going to come from? You know, you've got all these corporations in America that constantly get bailed out when they make mistakes. Who's going to help the lower and middle classes of America? Because we got a presidential election coming up soon and America's going to have to pick somebody who's going to get us out of this mess. Uh, we're spending more than we're making. And I'm sure you guys know as well as I do, that's not a sustainable habit. You know, everybody knows that one guy who's got, $10 in the bank account, a fancy boat, a fancy car, and a fancy house, and he's living not even paycheck to paycheck. It's only getting worse. And that's what America is doing. And you compile that on top of all the other problems we're having, it's not a good look for us, and it's not a great direction for the country who is supposed to be the beacon for the rest of the world to follow. So I think the answer is they need to come to an agreement. They need to put their political crap aside, realize what's best for America, what's best for Americans, and what's best for the Americans that make America great. Not the Donald Trump thing. Uh, so that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys sticking in with me through all these videos and subscribing and liking and commenting. Right here in the corner, there's going to be a little circle with a helicopter in it. One of these days... If somebody buys me a bourbon, I will drink the bourbon on the show and tell the story of that particular mission and how much fun it was not. Um, you guys have an awesome day, and thank you so much for watching.